This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2013 Ford F-150 crew cab short bed. It's a five and a half foot short bed. Um, it's an XLT with leather. It's a five liter V8. It's two wheel drive. Has 24,822 miles. It's sold on a salvage title due to theft. We purchased directly from an insurance company in Dallas, Texas. They give it a salvage title because the insurance company that owned this vehicle doesn't want to see it ever again. The way they do that is making sure they don't get sued. So when we sell it to you, uh, we, they sell it to us, we sell it to you, something happens in it to you, it can't come back to them because they have more money than Wheel Kinetics. The way they do that is they give it a salvage title. It's all about the attorneys. There's a little three minute animated video in our ads that'll describe why and how a little bit better than that, but it's attorneys. You'll see four pictures before it left Texas. It looks exactly like this, um, except for the fact that it's got new wheels and tires. It had some really ugly 22s with no center caps. Um, and they just were terrible. So we bought brand new tires for it, uh, Goodyear's, and we bought brand new wheels, and that's what you're looking at. Um, anyway, we get them here to Tucson, and we do an inspection, and this thing didn't need much. Uh, tires and rims, an oil change, air filter, and a battery. Uh, we also had to make a key for it, and that is it. Um, I'm gonna walk around, I'm gonna show you what this thing looks like, and I'm gonna take it for a ride. I'll show you in a minute, I'll show you the Kelly Blue Book. I'll show you the uh, uh, Carfax. I'll show you the title we got from the insurance company. I'll show you the title we currently have. Um, everything that we know will be disclosed to you. Um, there are no secrets here. Secrets are bad for our business. Um, other deals, dealers uh, have the desperation factor of having to sell it to the one person who gets in it in a month. We don't have that. The internet is gigantic. And uh, 500 plus people will see this every day. And if we do it correctly, which we do, the right person will buy the vehicle. Um, and there will be no drama. And there never is because that's how we do it, okay? So, my job here is to walk around and show you the truck. It's not really to sell you the truck. It does have a backup camera. I don't think anything's ever been in the bed. Backup camera's right there. I'll show you that functioning in just a second. You got the light package here. I don't think I booked it in with a tow package either, but it does have one. It is the Texas edition here, um, which is why it's uh, got the leather interior, by the way. Pretty truck. Really pretty truck. All right, let me. See if I can get this underneath the truck here a little bit for you. There'll be uh, probably 60 to 80 HD pictures of this truck. There's unlock and lock. Um, in that gallery, there'll be a little magnifying glass. We'll allow you to. Uh, Zoom in on something, so if you see something and you want to see it uh, closer, use that little magnifying glass and you'll be able to do that, okay? All right, before I open the hood, which by the way, it's hard to do when it's on these things. My fingers aren't long enough. Here's the Kelly Blue Book, 24,822 miles. Kelly Blue Book is, uh, suggested retail price is $28,738. Aside from the title, this is exactly the same as a clear title one. That's The title is why you're saving money. Uh, they would love to have this car, uh, Carfax One Owner branded title. It's due to theft, okay? I'll show you that here in a second. Ford, Ford, Ford. Blah, blah, blah. Stolen on... April, what is that? April 6th and recovered on June 6th. That's that, okay? Here's the title from Safeco Insurance. And there's our current title right there, okay? The current title will be in the ad, you'll be able to see it. Let's see, where is the hood release? Is that it? I think that's it. Now, as I recall,
Not much to look at, but it's really hot in Tucson right now, by the way. It's about 95 degrees, and it's about, I don't know, 70 or 80% humidity. It's about to monsoon again, and I lock the door, which is what I do every single time. Oh, yikes. Just want to get the air conditioning. It is freaking warm. Really warm. Muggy. That's going to be rain here shortly. Oh, you've got some beautiful seats. The seats are in fantastic condition. Got a nice WeatherTech uh, mat down there. Window up and down there. Well, there's nothing to look at here. This is like uh, brand new in here. There's your window. Let's see. Up and down. Driver's seat. We have a manual here. Kind of stuff there. The truck, pretty truck too. Those WeatherTech floor mats are expensive. So when they stole this thing, they probably because they they forgot to take the Texas Edition off of the uh, tailgate. They have Texas Edition uh, emblems on the side, so they changed the wheels to those ugly 22s that were on it took those off the side and they thought they could drive it as their own car forever because they changed the looks of it. Probably not, right? So, wow, these buttons are hot. Yikes. Ow! Wow, that's hot. It doesn't take long. It is freaking warm out here. All right, so there you go. Door locks. Let's see. Window, or mirrors, I mean. Out, in, up. Down, other side, out, in, up, down. Seat forward, back, up, down. All right, then you got pedals, power pedals. Let's see, up, in, down, there you go. We got the uh, tilt wheel. Let's see, that would be. Up and down, up and down, put it down. All right, let's get in here. Oh, boy, I feel better. Yeah, it's freaking warm. Belt on. All right, let's see, we also have a sliding rear window. There's that. right there all right let's see got this stuff here gauges training blah 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 there you go anyway let's see you also have cruise control here that's that Bluetooth all right oh, here we go tow there's tow on and off right there see that what else we got going on here that's about it. You got the tow package here. You got the sink. Center console. Just a big center console there. This is a sweet truck. All right. Let's go for a ride. Turn the fan down. It's probably hitting the microphone. All right. This truck's on a salvage title. If you come to Tucson and drive it home, which you're welcome to do, this would be a hell of a nice thing to drive home. Uh, you are going to pay tax, and you are going to pay dock fee and you're going to pay to restore the title. What does that mean? Well, you need plates and you need insurance, okay? Um, obviously, you can't get plates or insurance on a salvage title. We have to take it to the police before you get here. They do what's called a level three inspection here in town. We take that and the salvage title we currently have uh, to uh, motor vehicles and they give you what's called the restored salvage title. Then you, we can uh, issue you driveway plates, temporary plates, 
and you can get insurance. So that's mandatory if you're gonna drive home, obviously. Um, what else? Uh, $250 dock fee. So it's $200 to restore the title, $250 dock fee and taxes. Taxes are 2% city tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if your state tax rate is 5%, you'll pay 7%. If it's you know, 3%, you'll pay five. Just add 2% to your state tax rate then add $250 dock fee and 200 to restore the title and you'll know what you're paying, okay? Nice truck, really nice truck, especially on these new tires. Boy, this is a sweet ride. Um, then you'll know what you're paying, okay? Uh, very simple, if you pay by wire and ship, all you're obligated to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. Uh, unless you wanna add $200, uh, click the restore button. Uh, online and uh, we'll take it to motor vehicles and get the title uh, restored before it ships out. Uh, once we receive your wire, we will uh, fill out your name or your company's name and address. Uh, we'll sign it off to you, notarize it, scan it into your online file so you'll be able to see the title before it even hits the mail. Then we'll mail it. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in. Um, and then uh, once you have the vehicle shipped to you, you'll already have the title and you just go to motor vehicles and get yourself some plates. Okay? Very simple. Um, deposits five hundred dollars. Once we receive your deposit, let me jump on this again. That's nice, smooth. Um, huh. Once we receive your deposit, we'll put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com, and you'll know it's yours. Until then, it's for sale. So please get your deposit in. Okay. Um, this is a nice truck, low miles. Uh, we know exactly what this truck's going to sell for because we've sold several of them that are the same color, the same everything. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Um, they're great trucks, uh, fantastic trucks, but uh, we do know what, they're, what, you, what you're gonna pay for them even on a salvage title, so. This is a 45, by the way, so let's see if I can't get a ticket at 70. And that was 70, I think. I don't know, one of these days, a cop is gonna be smart. He's gonna be sitting right underneath these trees, right over here somewhere, kind of in the shade. I'm not gonna see him, and that'll be the end of me. Anyhow, uh, let's see. Warranty speech. Uh, warranty speech is simple. There is none. Uh, because it's a salvage title, Ford will not honor warranty on this truck. Now, we have won warranty rights back before, but it's a lot of up and back with Detroit and bitching and you gotta bring your truck into the shop and pay them $100 to inspect it and blah, blah, blah. And even then, who knows if you're gonna get it. So assume you're not, okay? And because you're not, we're not going to uh, give a warranty either on this truck, okay? If it's broken, the fact that you're saving a lot of money on it, uh, you can take some of the money you saved and fix whatever it is. I have no idea what would be on this truck. This truck should get oil changes and air filters um, keep it out of, you know, off its roof, and it'll drive for a long time. Take care of it. Um, I can't imagine this being a problem. It's a 5.0. They only made 15 billion of them. Um, anyway, it has a beautiful ride, no vibrations, nothing. Uh, that being said, if something breaks the day you get it, you're getting it fixed on your dime. Uh, we've taken a ton of risk. We give you tons of information, but we're not Nostradamus. We do not know what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm going to make it to that light 100 feet from now. Okay? Um, that's the truth. Uh, other dealers will tell you what you want to hear, and we do not. If you think you're going to get a check, the, you know, if it shows up and it doesn't start, or a, who knows? I don't know. Whatever happens, um, you're not going to get a check. Okay? So. If you need that reassurance, if you need a sure thing, please go buy a brand new one. I think they're only, this thing would be about 45 or 55 or something like that. And then for you know a couple of years, you'll have uh, peace of mind, all right? And uh, after that, you'll still owe 35 grand once the warranty's up and uh, you'll be screwed. <laughs> you'll, you know, that's part of saving this much money is adopting a little risk is what I'm saying. Um, that being said, like I said, this thing is about as cool as you can get. I mean, it's a nice rig. I didn't test the uh, I didn't test the parking sensors or the backup camera. Hmm. Shoot. Well, I know they work because I did them. But huh? I wonder if I have enough time. Run out of time, people, and I'm mumbling. See that storm right there? That is going to be ugly. Anyway, 
Uh, thank you for your time. And that's it.